In the midst of the world's great orchestras of architecture, amidst the clamor of cities raising towards the sky, there whispers a voice, subtle yet profound. A voice that speaks not in straight lines and sharp corners, but in the language of the wind and waves. This is the voice of Ma Yen Song, an architect whose dreams are etched not just in the fabric of buildings, but in the very soul of innovation. In modern cities, I think a lot of buildings is more about function, more about space, the values, uh, uh, the commercial values. And sometimes they become the monument for capitalism and power. Uh, but lacking the connection, the emotional connection to the environment, which you can find always in the traditional architecture and urban planning. So that's uh, uh, something I want to do in my new architecture. Mayan Song invites us to reimagine our world, to see beyond the rigid confines of tradition. In his universe, the concrete jungles transform into fluid landscapes that embrace the future without forsaking the past. Yeah, the title of this show is uh, Landscape in Motion. I'm an architect, I make uh, buildings, but I consider my buildings as a part of the nature, part of the landscape. So I want my building not a standalone object, but uh, something grow out of the earth. So we're building this new building around it. So this is an old building with a 300 years history, and this is a new building, and together is a kindergarten. Oh, it's a kindergarten. So underneath this uh, uh, red roof is a classroom for kids. Those are existing trees, and then we created a new courtyard around the tree, so also to bring the nature light to the, to mm. the classroom, and they can use a staircase and come to the roof. Well, this is absolutely stunning. So I'm interested in traditional architecture and the urban planning because I often see how the Asian architecture have this uh, nature uh, coexist with the built environment. Uh, so I, in that sense, I think I'm doing something related to this uh, philosophy. A different project has a different uh, story, uh, depending on the, the context. For example, the Shenzhen project. If you look at the project and the ocean as a background, you think this project is from billions of years ago, you know, because the, the shape is nothing modern. So it's a stone have been there forever. Sometimes I want the building to be more low-key. For example, the Quzhou Sports Park. There are big buildings, there are stadiums, but I want to bury all these functions into the green hills. In the end, you see a lot of volcanoes. You can climb those volcanoes, but there are functions in these volcanoes, and the architecture disappeared. You only see this land art. Sometimes you want to disappear, sometimes you want to stand out. The similarity is you always want to create a new experience that people, you know, unexpected to, you know, they can discover. So some architecture should bring the surrealness to the reality. So when people go to different buildings or different cultural public space, the space can probably trigger their imaginary thinkings to discover the past, the future, you know, the, or their relationship to the world. You know, I think that's the, the good architecture. So that's the deep inside and also explore the creativity. Well, thank you very much for taking our interview. Thank My pleasure. you. Ma Yen Song Landscape in Motion is the architect's first ever large-scale solo exhibition curated exclusively for the HKDI Gallery. Come and experience the future of urban civilization, a harmonious coexistence of urban landscape, historical sites and natural environments.